Festival of Science and Curacy is uh, two weeks of activities. We're trying to show people that science is for, for all of us, it's for everyone, it's part of our daily lives. It's not something that just happens uh, in, in labs, it's something that kind of is part of our life all the time. So we're trying to bring it out from behind closed doors into public spaces, into libraries, museums, spaces that you maybe wouldn't always expect to see science and, and get people to get hands on, have a go, try things out, ask questions to scientists, that kind of thing. So good luck. <gasps> My favourite thing about science is to like get yourself lost in the subject and like enjoy it with like partners and all that to like explore. My favourite part of science is like the trial, trial and error. I like keeping having to try and keep doing experiments over and over again. You get to do experiments what you might have not ever tried. I learned about five senses and I learned about different sounds. After one, I see a, I see a water tomato. We've been trying to get a suspect because it's still uh, a, a potion that can help everyone with their diseases. I think it was wonderful to see people that are actually employed in STEM activities showcasing what they can do and how relevant it is to life and how the skills are applicable even across ages. So that was absolutely wonderful. It, it made science and made curiosity mean something and accessible to people of this age. And that's amazing. We're learning about the little parts of our brain. Everybody's curious. We've all got questions about the world and especially children. So what we're trying to do is provide opportunities to support children to kind of express that curiosity, to get some of their questions answered. Um, and then also take part in finding out those answers as well. And I think the more we can kind of nourish that curiosity at an early age, the more likely we will be to have more amazing scientists, technologists, researchers across Nottinghamshire in the future. And when the wind comes, it will keep the shape. Remember, you want to keep it light. <laughs> Making kites. You need the wind to make sure they fly. It pushes it from the bottom and the back so it all goes straight. When the wind is underneath, the kind of kite will go up. The shape's important, and, you, and some shapes can't fly while others can. 